All right, we've got some active hives today. Uh-uh, Ezekiel, no, go over there. Lots of activity. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna get into these traps, get them cleaned up and ready to go. And then we're gonna check these bees which all look to be doing really, really well. I'm interested to see this one here, if she started laying in that top box yet. So let's get going. Okay, well, the first thing I'm doing is coming over here and getting into the tack room to get the traps out. And there is a dead rat that I have to take care of. So bear with me for a few minutes while I get rid of this little critter. Okay, he has definitely been dead for a little bit, and I haven't been in here in two weeks, and he was not in here two weeks ago. But he is stinky, so I'm gonna go get rid of him. So that's done. I took the pup back next door because I don't want him to get stung again. He's still um, very curious, so. We're trying to keep them away from the bees. That's like 75 degrees already. So let's look at these traps. Okay, so this is the design that we've used for our traps. This is not our design. We didn't come up with this concept. It was actually um, somebody that my dad saw on YouTube. It was um, it was their idea, so this is not this is not our design, but it works. Um, we have just a basic plywood box. It's nothing fancy. It holds five frames, and it has two holes in the front, and that is the entrance. We put a lid. Just a basic piece of plywood lid that just goes over top and we screw that on and then it is attached with a stick on the back to um, a tree. We have the shorter size and we have the full um, 18 inches. With the, this size, we put full size frames in there, which is technically this is this is the way it's supposed to be designed because you have a you have a void here um, between your frames and the bottom of the box, the bottom of the trap, which is what they want. With the short ones, um, we have to use the medium super frames because it's short and you still want that void. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them up on the outside and a little bit on the inside. What I'm not going to clean, let me show you this, is this. Can you see this? This is the brace comb that other swarms have built in here to stabilize the frames. So we're gonna clean these up and uh, find frames for each of them so that they'll be ready to go um, when they head up to the hunting camp to, to hang them. So give me just a few minutes.
Um, so essentially they're all cleaned out. All I did was take my hive tool and go through and clean out any cobwebs and loose debris that was in the bottom of the corners, pull it forward and then dump it. Um, ideally these would have already been at the hunting camp and they would have already been, they would already have frames in them. So we would have just taken them down up there, checked for any wax moths, um, changed out any bad frames that were just totally trashed and then reset them and bait them right there at the hunting camp. But with the fire um, and everything that has happened with the house and then not really having the opportunity to get back up there in time to rehang them, uh, they've been here. So the amount of stuff that was in them is not that much. It, they were relatively clean. Um, just a little bit of debris and a few little cobwebs had been built up in them. But essentially all three traps are clean. So now I'm gonna go through and find um, frames to put in them. All right, so the frames that I have that are gonna go into these trap hives this year are going to be supers. They're dirty. They are dirty. It's old comb. There's mildew in there, but guess what? They don't care. This is what they want. Um, I, I don't have any deep frames that are in good enough a shape with wax for me to put into this tall hive or tall trap. Um, so I might see if I can rob some from the existing bees. Comb that's filled out but doesn't have anything in it but anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the two short ones and I'm just gonna put these frames in here like so So now, this trap has five frames in it. It's ready for a lid. It's ready to be hung and baited. When I bring it home, essentially I have a nuke, a nucleus hive. This one only holds four. That's right. So this one only holds four um, because this was not cut to where a fifth one will fit in flatly. Um, but that's it. These guys are ready to go and have the lids screwed on and uh, be installed at the hunting camp. So this, this is how we get our bees. We catch them. Um, we have not bought bees, like I said, since 2017, because it 
we just haven't had that great of experience with it not to say that the bees you're buying aren't worth it um and not to say that if i bought a package or a nuke today that i wouldn't have better luck because i know more about them some of the things we did was we moved the bee yard from way back in the back pasture where there was a lot of standing water and shade um, up to the forward front of the property to where it gets full sun throughout the day which is really important when you're working um, and you're talking about pest control like your varroa mites your hive beetles um, and your wax moths even though we still do get a lot of wax moths um, up here even in the full sun um, which are really great to feed to bearded dragons and things like that. You just have to be leery of um, pest parasites. But, what was I saying? Totally just lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, we catch our bees, we don't buy them. Um, and this has, this has been working out well for us. Every year we average a minimum of two swarms. Um, I have caught three swarms before in one year but usually that third swarm is weak it's a sconding from another hive for a reason so it doesn't actually end up making it this is the first year that we have come out of winter with all four hives still fully intact still laying brood still with healthy food stores and just really doing well so this but this is this is how we get our bees um, if you have any questions let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to um, get a link to you know the video that my dad sent me on how to build these. It's really basic. It's just it's basic. It's a rectangle. Um, the dimensions are the size of a nuke box, and you drill two round holes in the front for the entrance. So, uh, thanks for hanging out with me while I got these cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and get suited up and start another video on checking out the bees and um, I'll see you on that video. Thanks for watching.